Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Access has an extensive built-in help functionality which can greatly reduce the time and cost of technical support. It contains a searchable database of help topics and an index of help topics which you can use to find more assistance with your specific needs in Access. Now one of the simplest and most useful features of assistance available to you are screen tips. And screen tips provide you with a brief description of a feature or object within Access. Screen tips for toolbars are enabled by default in Access and these are the little yellow boxes that display a button's name when you rest your mouse pointer over them without moving it for a moment. To search through the help files that are available, you can select Help from the menu bar and choose Microsoft Office Access Help. In 2000 and XP, that would often invoke the Office Assistant, which is a small animated graphic you can use to search for help topics. In Access 2003, selecting this command brings up the help pane at the right side of the screen. You can type the word or phrase that you want to search the, the help files into the dialog box that appears by the Office Assistant if you're using the 2000 version. And then click search. Or if you're using 2003 in the Access Help pane in the Assistance box click into search for and type in the term for which you're looking for some assistance. Then you can click the green arrow to start searching. The results then display either in the Office Assistance dialog box or in the Results pane and the Task pane depending on which version you're using. You can click on a help topic listed to view the associated help file in a new window. Then when you're finished you can close the help file to return to the results list where then you can continue clicking on different topics to read more about the terms by which you searched. Now if you're using 2000 or 97 You can type in a term Click on the term and once again it brings it up in its own separate window. There's also a little bit more that you can do in order to see other forms of assistance rather than just the office assistant. So in the separate window, you can read the information, you can print it and close it when you're finished, but also notice that you can click the Show button in the upper left corner if you're using Access XP or 2000 to access the contents, the answer wizard, and the index. So you have the index available to you or table of contents as it's called in 2000 or XP and you get it when you display a help file click the Show button at the left end of the toolbar in the Help window and then click on the Contents tab. And here you can just click on a subject to view additional help files. And this is useful if you're interested in reading a lot about a particular topic. So for example, if you were interested in the different spreadsheet functions, Here's where they're all listed in Access. Now in 2003, if you wanted to view the table of contents, you had to use the Help task pane view and then click Table of Contents at the top, right underneath the search box. It'll then download and display the table of contents. And once again, you can click on any one of these table of contents to view the different sub-pages and also sub-chapters.
and once again you can click on any one of the actual help topics to display it in its own window. And when you're finished you can simply close the window. Now if you're using Access 97, in addition to the Office Assistant, which was available under Microsoft Access Help, you also have the option of going to Help and just choosing Contents and Index. This was a much easier way of accessing the Table of Contents. And then you simply double click on each chapter to expand or collapse it and then double click on each topic in order to view it in its own window. To return back to that view you had to click Help Topics. But we still had the contents and the index and of course the find function. If you want to get rid of the Office Assistant, by the way, if you're using Access 2097 or XP, you may right-click on the Office Assistant and just choose to hide it, and it will go away. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.